New York Philharmonic welcomes Jaap van Sveden as its new music director in the 2018-19 season. And with him, an ambitious schedule of adventurous music making, connections with New York City, and explorations of music and the social conscience. New York City thrives on the energy of generations of immigrants who have called it home. Jaap van Sveden and the Philharmonic will pay tribute to them with New York Story's Threads of Our City. The centerpiece will be the world premiere of Julia Wolfe's Fire in My Mouth, based on the 1911 Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. This new piece for the Philharmonic is the third piece in a series of pieces about the American worker. I have been thinking about women in the workforce, and we're talking about immigrant women from Russia, Eastern Europe, and Southern Italy, and they came with a skill set. They know how to sew, and they wind up working on these huge factory floors. The title was actually said by Clara Lemlich, who was one of the amazing Politico leaders of the time. There was an interview with her later, I think sometime around 1950s, 1960s, and she said, ah, then I had fire in my mouth. It's a multimedia piece. My collaborator is Jeff Sugg. He's creating a projection design. We're working with photographs and other kinds of archival material. It's such a gift, really, to be able to lay that on these super high-level musicians with Yap conducting. Um, it's, it's, it's really thrilling. Since its memorial for Abraham Lincoln in 1865, the Philharmonic has engaged the crises and questions of its time. With music of conscience, Jaap van Sveten and the Philharmonic will explore the intersection of music and social issues. My symphony came about because I was overcome by the number of friends I'd lost who died of AIDS, and so I have the conscience of a, a need to do that, just as the, when I saw the quilt, I felt the immediacy of the quilt when you look down and see beautiful tapestries, and then you stretch your eyes as far as the horizon can see, and you see more quilts. And I thought music could do this. Music can be intimate with a turn of a solo violin or something, and then it could be a huge symphony orchestra demonstrating the tragedy, and I felt I had to do that. Maestro knows how to handle the big forces, and this is a very large orchestra, super large orchestra, and requires a Mahlerian kind of performance. But Yap is a man who can do that, and will do that, and I'm so thrilled he's conducting this piece. One of the things that happened to me when I was young is I saw a production of Fidelio. On the one hand, I thought it was amazing that here was this opera that was um, based on a political impulse, and yet it was an opera that tried to downplay the political implications of it. I thought um, ever since then how great it would be to try to figure out how to make that political story go farther. There's no Beethoven music in my piece, and there's no Beethoven libretto. I take things which I think are um, odd or not pushed farther, I rewrite them. It's a version which is made for a symphony orchestra to be an integral part of the performance. So one of the things I'm very excited about is the New York Philharmonic and their incredible power, virtuosity, and clarity. I'm very excited that um, Yap has such great um, connection to the original music and to music being written right now. Ever since it gave the U.S. premiere of Beethoven's Eroica Symphony in 1843, the Philharmonic has championed the music of its time. Building on the Philharmonic's commitment to nurturing long-term relationships with today's composers, Jaap van Sweden will immerse orchestra and audience in the music of his Dutch compatriot, Louis Andriessen. I, for a long time already, and certainly since I had read the Odyssey of Homerus, Homer, as they say here, I had a kind of uh, fear, but also interest in Agamemnon. I had the idea of I should make a piece on him. And then I thought of a symphonic poem. Experience a season of timely themes that kindle personal reflection and collective action with the Philharmonic's new maestro, Jaap van Sveten.